Here we are in Milton, one of the largest complexes in all of the UK, and it happens to be the home of Terra Firma. We're going to take a look inside, go meet Eddie Prescott, and see what's new for this year. Let's go see the madman himself. Hey, Ed. Hi. How you been, buddy? Oh, I'm all right. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. So what do you got for us? Oh, we've got some new products for the, in the Terra Firma range. Is that the sort of thing you're interested in? Yeah. Let's go see them. Cool. Okay, let's do it. All right. All right, Ed, what do we got? Here we have um, a new product for the Terra Firma range. You know we've got the spacers. We're selling loads of spacers into the American market. Well, these are the next stage. These are adapters. So this will take the Defender or Discovery 1 5 by one65 bolt pattern and convert it to 5 by one twenty bolt pattern. That means that you can take bolt these to a Defender or a Discovery 1 and fit the D2, P38, L322, D3 wheels to the outside of it. So let's just say I've got our Project 90. I can take a, a 20 inch if I wanted to Big Daddy range, yeah, yeah. bolt that right on, a nice 19 inch alloy, yeah. anything from the Land Rover newer generation family to an older truck. And, and obviously all the aftermarket wheels in the same bolt pack. Oh, that's excellent. And you can see by the width of the spacer that gives you the same offset so the tire sits nicely in the wheel arch of the car as well. So this is going to give me the same factory offset yeah. to accommodate this newer generation same, rims. The same track width, yeah. Oh, you and they do look cool. Excellent. Okay, here we have here the new Terra Firma Dakar wheel. Um, this, this particular wheel has been out a couple of months with us now, but I think it's new to you guys. Uh, we're also introducing this later this year in Discovery 2 bolt pattern, which I know will be good news for you. Thank God, Discovery 2, <laughs> we're looking it, forward to that. It's there for D1, it's a very, very strong rim, it's got a 1350 kilogram load rating. Not all that heavy either. No. Well no, done. Very, well very done. Strong. Okay, Justin. Here's a new product that you won't have seen. It's called a reverse or inverse relocation cone. Now you're familiar with the top-mounted relocation cones for dislocating suspension, which allows the spring to go back up and align with its perch properly, as opposed to coming out and rubbing on the inside of the tire. Well, why would we want to do that on the bottom? Well, um, on extreme long travel suspension, the spring angles are such a lot. When the axle is fully tipped over, the one wheel stuffed right up into the wheel arch and the other dropped right out. And sometimes the spring can go outside of a conventional top mounted relocation. We've all, we've all seen that, yeah. and the spring's jammed off to the side. Absolutely. It's no fun. And, and so, and with most high lift jacks being four feet, they won't even lift the car up high enough to relocate the spring. So you've got to go and find somewhere off road to, to, to get the spring sorted out. Right, yeah. So, what we've done is we've come up with this idea with. Um, a reverse or inverse cone. Now this bolts to the axle, this little bracket here, um, bolts onto the, uh, the, sp the spring retainer plate, the lower spring retainer plate, okay. with, with the original yeah. bolts or the new ones in the kit here, the full, uh, full kit of fasteners, and this then is retained with this, with this Allen bolt, so everything is, is neat and it's not, when it's fitting it's not, not going to uh, catch any mud or anything like that. Uh, these, these are virtually indestructible. You can, you can crank these up on the vise and, and they, they don't break. It gets a bit scary because if it bursts out, it's going to hurt you. Eddie, uh, this reminds me of something, but I can't <laughs> quite place it. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, we'll give these a try. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, they're, they're working really, really well. We also offer a, a steel version as well, which is uh, you know for those people that like to see the metal work under the vehicle as opposed to this new plastic material. Well, I would stick with the plastic. Yeah, it's, it's, they work quietly. They, you know, there's no panging and clanging with the spring. Uh, and uh, you know they work just as well and they look cool as well. It's going to be a good talking point when people see those under the back of your vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> okay Justin, I know this is what you've been waiting for. You've nagged me and nagged me for these. Um, so we've done a deal with Southdown. We manufactured this really, I think, stylish, effective, straight forward snorkel. It's out of the way of the branches and anything you might catch on the trail. Um, with the plastic ram air top on the on the, at the top of the air intake and the nice molding to hide the way the pipe goes through the wing, I think this is a really good product. I've been using this on our D2 the Terra Firma truck for about six months now, and it's the only snorkel that'll really truly seal to the air box. Yeah. And and thank you. And uh, I know they're going to yell at me, but thank you for doing it in black. <laughs> so uh, I appreciate that. Excellent. Yeah, okay. Well done, sir. Well done. So Justin, what do you think of these new lights? Branded Terra Firma bit in your face I guess for some people but uh, this uh, unbreakable polycarbonate light guard can come off. Can it? It says. You sure? Well, it's not designed to fly off mm -hmm. and you've got a glass lens. It is a toughened lens. 
7 inch unit available in halogen uh, or HID. Represent exceptionally good value. We've sold hundreds of them, no warranty claims whatsoever, so it's proven to be really reliable. And these are HID available too? Yep, yep, HID or halogen. There is no, you can't say enough about HID off road. Well, I, I guarantee you these are the best value HID lights that you'll come across. All right, I'm going to put these on the front of our D90. Uh, this is a pretty big light. Is that going to fit in your Perfect, room? absolutely perfect. You'll notice that the A bar on the Terraferma bumper is angled forward. That gives you the clearance in front of the winch to fit the lights for an eye model winch and also to protect the lights against you know running into also any that, obstacles. You know what, you're right, that does stick forward so I can... And we have, we have actually weighed up the height of the A bar. You'll notice that some other tubular bumpers have a shallow A bar. You know, in, in some people's viewpoint that's fine, but it is a bit limited for the size of the lights you can fit. Well, I look forward to that. Excellent. Good job. Well, Eddie, thanks for taking the time with me today. You're welcome. Anything else coming on? Yeah, I mean, we've got to finish the D3, finish the D2, and then really crack into the D3. We've got a lot of products coming between now and Christmas. Uh, you know, I know uh, you know people would like us to be introducing 10 products a month. but 10 uh, products a day. Uh, well, well, like... I know there's loads of potential, loads of potential. Just keep an eye on the website. Just keep checking out the new stuff that will uh, get launched and be coming your way. Any P38 stuff for those P38 guys? Front and rear bumpers, rock sliders, oh, guards, nice. and a snorkel. Pardon me? A snorkel. Similar to the Did Disco 3, snorkel? absolutely. Ah, to clear, good man. To clear the, to clear the, the hood, uh, or, the, or the bonnet, <laughs> I should say, um, like the Discovery 3. You know, it comes out to allow the bonnet to open. Excellent. Yeah. Again, thanks for your time, man. You're welcome. Good to see you. You're welcome.